A Dade City woman is missing tonight. Her family looking for answers as to why her car was found abandoned just outside of Plant City. Get on your sides, Marco Villarreal joins us now live with more on this story. Marco. Well, good evening, Jen. This is the spot where Kaya Taylor's car was last seen four days after she was seen dropping off her boyfriend at a friend's house. Now, her family is left with no daughter and lots of questions. Just outside of Plant City is the last known location of Kaya Taylor. She was dropping the boyfriend off. Uh, the boyfriend and his friend was the last person that seen her on Thursday, as far as we know. Authorities tell Aid on Your Side the Dade City woman was leaving a home around the corner on Cowart Road Thursday, the 6th, in the late afternoon. Early that evening, family says a law enforcement officer found her black 2000 Toyota Solaris sitting empty on railroad tracks, the engine running. It was moved to the side of the road a few feet away, turned off, and left with Kaya's things inside. Her keys, her phone, her license, her debit card, everything was in her vehicle. And if anybody knows Kaya, Kaya never leaves her cell phone. Hillsborough detectives came out four days later after family called for help. The friend found the vehicle, reached out to my mother in law. Hey, uh, you know, anything? Weird with Kaya. Have you talked to her or whatnot? Her car was just abandoned on the side of the road. Deputies have questioned the last person who have seen the 28 year old, her boyfriend, but as of right now, they have no leads. We're just hoping and praying that she is still alive and that she's out there and she's safe. She's not in pain. She's not hurt. No one's holding her against her own will. And uh, we understand that family and friends have come out to this area and have searched for her for several days, including these woods that are right next to the railroad tracks where her vehicle was found. Family and friends asking if you know anything about where she may be or what happened on that Thursday night to call the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live in Hillsborough County, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.